Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Business Cradle. Guess what? My truck is fixed. Yay! I'm so excited. However, I can't get to the shop until I get a ride, which will be after 3 o'clock. Right now it is 1.32 p.m. Yay! I'm so excited. Anyways, welcome to my channel. Today I have Wyatt Coleman and Caitlin Renee. Caitlin Renee is the twin B and Wyatt is the twin A. They are both reborn by different artists and um, <clears throat> I did have a different twin for Wyatt. Um, I had my twins Wendy and Wyatt. However, Wendy is rehomed. Uh, she is rehomed to Brie. So Brie, oh, I I'm, she had her box opening and I watched it. It was so beautiful. I loved it, Brie. So, <clears throat> excuse me, wait. <laughs> so I'm so excited, Brie. However, I do have Wyatt in my collection. I love the Twin A sculpt so much. Um, I was even thinking of getting another Wendy Christina, but I can't afford anything right now. So I thought, well, I do have a Twin B. She's not colored the same. She has black hair and very fair skin. And my Wyatt has like a darker skin and blonde hair. Um, please excuse my voice. I just had soup, so I think it's actually clearing out my sinuses. I'll be right back. So I'm here today to finish off behind the scenes tag of Wishes and Wonder. I participated in her first tag, and it was so much fun. By the way, I went. Um, here are the twins. They have. I think they have the exact same legs. But they seem like it. They're painted differently, but they look extremely similar. Uh, the arms are different. So uh, Wyatt Coleman is a twin A, and he is wearing a onesie. It's a white onesie with puppy dogs all over it, cartoon type. And there are light blue dogs, and there's like clear outline of a dog, and... Um, there's brown, hints of brown in their ears or their stomach or their backs. And the light blue has white eye patches and is very cute. It's a short sleeve. And Caitlin, she has uh, black hair. It's actually painted, but she has um, partial rooting. So she's called, um, what are they called again? <laughs> How come I can't think of it? How come I can't think of it right now? Oh my goodness. Combination hair. That's it. Combi hair. <laughs> she has painted hair and a little bit of rooted hair to give her that little bit of realism. And she is painted extremely newborn, which I really love. And I do love Wyatt. I love them both, you guys. Um, they're both amazing. However, uh, Caitlin is wearing a long sleeve white onesie and there are flowers all over it and there's pink flowers and the same blue that is in the puppy dog of Wyatt's so <laughs> I hope I did that okay um and they're both lying in their basket I have a basket and there's a handle right here so I didn't want to get the handle in the shot but I'm here to finish off with Wishes and Wonders with Mia behind the scenes scraps. So there are five questions that didn't make the original tag. So I would be happy to. And when I read, I read number four and I actually laughed because it happened to me a few times. So here we go. Number one. How do you decide when it's time to add another doll to your collection? Well, if I see a doll for sale that I really love, that I really wanted, it was either a dream sculpt. Like, most of my dolls are ready-made. Um, the only ones I ask for customs are from are from Wendy of Weeby Dolls, and he was a custom. Um, when I decide, well, when I have extra money for, first of all, and wait, I'll be back. <laughs> Sorry about my voice. 
Um, it just feels raspy and I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I haven't talked in a long time. But anyways, um, I decide when it's time to buy a new doll is sometimes I used to get like a hankering for a new baby, a new box opening. Like I wanted to um, treat myself to a new doll because not only is buying a new doll in your collection like so wonderful, like the doll itself, but the box opening is kind of like a gift to yourself in a way, if that makes sense. But every once in a while, I'll go through like, oh, I wish I had a new baby kind of thing. There's kind of like um, um, desires <laughs> for that wonderful gift to yourself. Um, I've, To be honest, my collection is so huge that... I've been, like, if that situation comes around, if I have those feelings again, what I do is I just go into my <clears throat> my collection and I just grab a different baby and spend time with that baby. Now, say if I wanted a new baby so bad, but I couldn't afford it or don't really have the room, I will change that, the gender of the doll is the most thing that I would do but sometimes I would even change up their limbs and like not to my like I the Bonnie Brown collection and my Lorley Eagles collection I will never ever change but the other babies I have the real borns or um <clears throat> the Ashton Drakes sometimes when I have in my collection I put them on reborn bodies <clears throat> and Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> so yeah, I keep clearing my throat. I think that soup was just so good for me, but <laughs> it was a homemade ham and potato soup. So we had a leftover cooked ham the other night. So um, I just made a soup out of it. But anyways, um, so how do I decide? Well, for one, if I have the money, two, and if I have that hankering. The, the desire for something new in my collection. And like I said, the past few years, actually, I haven't, um, I've been fortunate enough to receive a couple of dolls. The last doll I bought myself was from Miriam. And she, I couldn't pass up my dream sculpt, which was the Noah. And also when I bought her Amelia sculpt, uh, the crawler, I'm pretty sure it's called the Amelia. Um, it's a part of Jennifer of Super Lily Sweet, and she is one of my good friends in this hobby. I've met her in person. I've been to her house. I actually saw that doll on her bed in her room, and I, I loved her. So I did love this doll already, and when Miriam offered me to purchase her, I just, I couldn't refuse. So yes, when I have that hankering or a but especially if I have the money. There were times when I didn't have the money because now that I'm sub-teaching again, I don't have a permanent position. Um, last year, I did a full year term, which was awesome and amazing. But now that it's over, I'm back to being a sub and I have no extra funds. So I will not be looking for a new doll to buy for a long time. So what I do, like I said, is I'll go into my collection and I'll pick up a doll that I never picked up in a while. And if I want even more of a change, I'll just change the genders, think of a new name, which is always fun for me, and and or change out the limbs. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, oh my goodness, that was such a long answer. Number two. As a collector, would you say that you are an exhibitionist? How do you say that? <laughs> exhibitionist? I don't know how to say that. A wallflower or somewhere in between exhibitionist? I can't say that word. <laughs> I feel so embarrassed. Exhibitionist? Ex. Ex. Uh, sorry. I don't know that word. Exhibition. <laughs> oh my goodness. As a collector, would you say you are an exhibition? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
<laughs> I can't even say exhibition. Exhibition. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's funny. A wallflower <laughs> summer. Basically, do you like to go out and show off your dolls? Or do you kind of like, uh, like, do you display them in your home when people come over? Or do you hide them? Or what? That's, or somewhere in between is what she's asking. So I don't take the dolls out on outings in this small town where I live. Because I know that, like, I bet you anything right now, somebody is looking out their window and looking into my window. Probably very likely because that's what happens in small towns. It seems like everyone knows what everyone's doing. Um, so, and there's a lot of like in this town, there's nobody else who is into reborns. Um, so, I'm alone here. I did show the doll. I did bring my dolls to the school before for reactions a few times. I only filmed it once. Um, but I've had taken the doll to school to show my coworkers, And everyone's super nice about it at work, which is great. My students love them. But And people do know about my YouTube channel. I have a main Facebook and I do show my dolls, um, not all of them. I have recently went out of my comfort zone and I put Faye Luna up on my cover picture, which is Faye Luna is my hybrid. And I thought, you know what, it's Halloween. This, I'm going to show her. I don't care. Um, I did show one of my um, better looking fantasy dolls a couple of years ago at Halloween. And um, I only got a few little responses. I think most people just don't understand this hobby. So, but I mean, if, like right now it's kind of messy, don't mind. But there is uh, Abigail over there, and that's completely fine. Um, I do have like my baskets of um, babies in there. Um, but I'm just going through that is winter. I think it'll fit Simona, actually. So, um, but normally over on this side, I have, like, you can see, wait, where is she? You can sort of see a couple of dolls over there. Those are some Halloween alternative dolls. Um, and over here, I just have some things I never put away yet. And here is Dar. She is one of my, actually, he. But I want to change her into a she. She's one of my alternatives. And yeah, I was watching a movie earlier. <laughs> and, and I found this too when I was cleaning up. Was, um, I used to sell Avon. So <laughs> I was re-looking at that book. But I do have dolls on display in my home. And I do not hide them anymore if people come over. So... I'm not ashamed of being in this hot wash and well, I don't mean to be mean like that. Like, does that sound mean being ashamed of this hobby? I was never ashamed of this hobby. However, I was worried and fearful of what other people thought of me being in this hobby. But now, I it doesn't matter. I've been in this hobby since 2015. So that's like six years already. So, and I've fully accepted everything. They do know that I am, I did post this on my Facebook, Reborn Life magazine. I am featured on um, here in my nursery. I have some pictures. And I, there are my alternatives. I have more though. See, that's the first doll. That's the first one, Selenite. She was on my Facebook a couple of years ago, like my actual Facebook. And I did post a picture of her before on my real Facebook before. But um, recently I put on Faye Luna and I don't think she's... No, she's not on here, but here is my... Bonnie Brown collection, and I have my Laura Eagles collection. Oh, there's Wendy. She's no longer in my collection. 
Wendy with Wyatt. Um, my Weebrooms Cradle with my YouTube. And that was my channel's intent, nurturing our inner child. And then I have on this page too. There's Carly with one of my Ashen Drakes, Deanna. Or sorry, that's not Deanna. And there's Nina. <laughs> Francis loves that picture. There's my merch. Daniel with my merch. And whoever said diamonds are girl's best friend forgot about dolls. And my real name is on there. So I am no longer hiding my reborn journey. So I'm quite proud of it. I have a not a huge successful YouTube, but I mean, for this small town, yeah, it's huge. I mean, my subscriber number is um, almost triple of what our town size is, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, number three, you find out that a friend or family member has been ridiculing you behind your back. <laughs> Sorry for your hobby. Sorry. That's that. <laughs> um, it actually happened not with this hobby that I know of, but I mean with things mine in the past. So do you confront them or be ignorant and pretend that you don't know and say anything? <sighs> if you can't tell, I am an emotional roller coaster. If I have to confront somebody, which I've had, I actually cry <laughs> I just I can't sorry wait <laughs> trying trying not to cry I'm a I am a super sensitive person super sensitive and I remember one time I confronted someone and then <laughs> I, like it can be it can be dramatic because I feel like crying but yet like doing like you know women in their 20s and they get super emotional and they start screaming back I was like that there was a couple of times I was like that and I had to like calm down completely and apologize um I said I'm like, I don't know why I'm like this. Like, why am I crying so much? And they're like, Brenda, you are always like that. Always. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, even when I was a kid. So, yes, this person knew me since I was a child. So, <laughs> um, you know what? I believe that not everything floats everyone's boat. And there are judgmental people in this world. Um. <sighs> If it's not their thing, it's not their thing. They have a right to their opinion. However, it doesn't have to affect me anymore. Like the last time I confronted somebody in tears <laughs> was maybe 10 years ago, I guess. I mean, obviously, here I am trying not to cry. So obviously, it still kind of has some deep when it cuts <laughs> I guess within me but um you know what it's it's not their thing it's not their thing um I've had so many comments on my YouTube over the years oh they're so scary they're ugly they're um blah 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 like such horrible comments I just delete them and block them I don't pretend that is not there However, I will ignore it, so. And a few times I used to say things back, but, you know, like, it, it kind of felt good to say something back. But at the end of the day, I didn't feel good about saying something back. So, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't pretend that I don't know, but I will ignore it. So, I mean, say if someone came up to me and asked me, like, why do you like these creepy things anyway? And then I'll just explain to them, like, how I feel about it. And in fact, 
I wrote about that in my article. Um, this, this, like, my whole article, like, was about since me loving dolls since I was four and my journey with the reborn hobby, how I discovered it, and, um, and dealing with the criticisms of it. So basically, it's not an easy journey to be in love with this hobby. There are so many people, including our own family members, that do not appreciate this hobby at all. Ridicule, mockery, antipath antipathy, and repugnance are just some of these things that people who love this hobby have to go through. You have to realize that this hobby makes us happier within. There's nothing magical that happens. Oh, sorry. There's something magical that happens when we pick up a doll. A natural instinct pops in and blah, 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 blah. Basically, I'm saying that... You know what? I don't know. <clears throat> it's just... And the people that accept that part of me, the ones that support me, make me feel that much more worthy of accepting that part of myself. So if they don't support me, and they make me feel that I am not worthy of accepting that part of myself, well, sorry, then I just ignore you and move on. Because it's not true. I mean, they have their likes and their perfect hobbies or whatever they want to do if they want to read books all the time or if they want to like go around and gossip about other people that's their life so whatever i'm just not part of that anymore i'm getting older now i'm almost 50 well i'll be turning 49 but you know what i have no time for that this is my happy hobby i am happy these dolls make me happy so that's that. <laughs> wow, do I ramble. <laughs> number four. <laughs> number four is what I laughed at when I first read it. Uh, you just bought and received a new doll, and wouldn't you know it, your dream baby has come up for sale. Now what? Okay, if I can afford it, I'm getting that doll. Now here's the thing, though. There, this happened to me about three times. In the past and um, what happens is, is that I would receive a doll that I bought and two days later I would get my dream baby and guess who guess which doll would get ignored the first one so there are actually like I tell you what guys four or five times this happened maybe even more so I have four or five dolls in my collection that I need to rediscover. So now a few of these dolls um, I did rediscover and I did create a bond with. But there were some dolls that I st still have in my collection. And I didn't quite bond with them yet. So one of these days I will... I will want to either. And the thing is, I'm so afraid to sell. You guys, I'm afraid to sell a doll. Now, I know I gave a doll away very recently. And I knew the doll was in very good condition. Wendy makes beautiful dolls. And I knew that, like, there's nothing wrong with this doll. However, I do have dolls that are considered, like, boo-boos. Boo-boo babies. They either have a flaw on them, and that's why <laughs> I used to do that. I used to impulse buy, and I don't do that anymore. I learned my lesson. Um, sometimes, uh, if it's too good to be true, it, it kind of is. <laughs> you live and learn. So I do have a few dolls in my collection that I do have boo-boos, and I'm so afraid to sell them. And then people complain about them. That's my biggest fear. Or even a giveaway doll. I thought about giving away these dolls. But the thing is, they cost money. And I can't really afford to 
to just give away a whole bunch of dolls I can't really afford. Now, if I could afford to do that, then I would love to. But then there's that fear of, oh, the person getting the doll is going to be unhappy. They're going to complain. And I've seen it before. Um, they rant about it on social media and then the fights happen. <laughs> so I'm afraid of that. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so that actually happened to me. Now what? Um, I would buy that baby, my dream baby, if I could afford it. If I couldn't afford it, then I just missed an opportunity. It wasn't meant to be. I highly believe in what happens it was meant to happen. So I do believe that highly. <laughs> so even even say if I just bought a baby and my dream baby popped up and I could afford them, then yes, I will buy that dream baby because it was meant to be. <laughs> so I can go either way. Number five. Do you go out to buy outfits specifically for an upcoming theme Thursday or use what you have? Well, now I use what I have because I have a ton of it. <laughs> but in the past, in the very beginning, it is true. I mean, I wouldn't go out and purposely buy a theme Thursday outfit because where I live, that's not possible. But I will go to a store and see a cer certain theme and think you know what, this would be a good theme Thursday if that opportunity ever came up. And yes, I think we've went through so many themes throughout the years that I think, like, I can't think of anything that hasn't been covered yet. <laughs> so, yes, in a way, I will buy, like, I will look at something and say, hey, this would be a great for theme Thursday. But I don't go out, like, say if, because, you know, announcements for Theme Thursday normally happen on the Sunday, the, like, before. And then um, I don't have the time or the place where I live to go and purposely buy something for that Theme Thursday. Like, always going, like, for instance, this Thursday, orange. I can't go out and just buy something orange. It's pretty impossible here, so. So, yeah, we just recently had Orange Shirt Day, for instance, and I can I knew that was coming up, like, even a month before, and I can't find nothing in this town. And the mail is too slow, so. <laughs> so, in a way I do, but in a way I don't. So, that is the fun five scraps from behind the scenes and Mia this is really fun um I enjoyed it sorry that I did ramble on and on and you were right there <laughs> she said that she dropped these questions from the original because she didn't want our videos to be too long and yeah she's mean for people like me and people like Lori that just ramble on and on <laughs> but still a lot of fun Mia, thank you, and everyone else who's here to enjoy the dolls with me and the hobby with me, thank you so much. It means so much to me, guys. Um, I'm so happy to be driving my truck later. Yay, it's finally fixed. I had to wait for a week and like three days or something. Oh my goodness, it was a long time. So... <laughs> Yay. So this guys, oh, it's Halloween coming up. Guys, I didn't even decorate for Halloween yet. I have to, I need to do that, I think. It was pure sun in here, like, not too long ago. Now you see my hand of the shadows. Um, <laughs> so, yes, it is definitely time to decorate for Halloween. I do decorate for Halloween. I will put some cards of my Halloween um, decorations and I do have some Halloween outfits for my toddler and for Carly I think for Carly I hope it'll fit her so Carly is my child doll and she is really big you guys she is she's the size of a true five and six year old like she's huge <laughs> and I love her <laughs> But anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Sorry if I rambled on and on. I hope, I hope that you're still here. If you're still here, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. 
and yay for Halloween! <laughs> so, anyways, guys, love you. Take care, man. Shahan, guys, I love you. Take care. Have a safe and happy Halloween. And until next time, bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Have a great day, guys. Bye.